now we have an industry address by Mr. Gopal Vittal, MD and CEO, India and South Asia Bharti Airtel Limited. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me here at the ET Telecom 5G Congress. The last two years have shown the criticality of digital connectivity in the country. And at Airtel, we've been privileged to serve the country at a time of need. Work from home, study from home, payments, entertainment, all of it has been made possible. As I look at the next few years, I'm excited about the possibilities of what 5G technologies can help shape. Let me explain how we see our business today. We see it as comprising of three layers, all of which really constitute what we call our digital stack. The first is the digital infrastructure layer. In the past few years, we've invested over $46 billion in creating the finest digital infrastructure over which 40% of India's economic and digital activity takes place. Massive investments have been made in our radio networks, in our transport infrastructure, across both domestic fiber and international submarine cables. This digital infrastructure supports both our B2C and B2B businesses. We've also done a lot of work in developing 5G technology by partnering with both traditional equipment manufacturers as well as disruptive open radio players, what we call ORAN in industry. Another very critical part of this digital infrastructure is data. We now have a massive data layer where we've cleaned, tagged, and coded every one of our 350 million customers. Over 400 data scientists and engineers work on this to lend agility and intelligence on this for all of Airtel. Above this core of digital infrastructure sits our digital experience layer. And this really runs across every part of Airtel. Our channels, our customer touch points, our network experience, our customer facing applications, our stores, and even our delivery teams of installation and fault repair are seen through a one customer, one Airtel omni-channel lens. Be it improving the experience, recommending an additional service, collecting payments, or simply engaging, this digital layer enables all of us. It is through this digital experience that we're able to deliver the best experience for our customers and allow us to deliver industry-leading ARPUs. This experience layer is what gives us the right to build the third and topmost digital layer. And this third layer of our company's digital services. We have now tested, proven, and will scale four exciting new businesses, each of which are in very large and growing markets. This is just the beginning of the things that are possible. Airtel Payments Bank is our payments platform. It has over 20 billion US dollars of GMB, 115 million users, and is the only profitable payments player in the fintech space. Remember the margin model here is very, very thin. The only reason we are profitable therefore is because this rides on our foundational legs. We serve the unbanked, the underbanked, and the digitally savvy user. This bank does not even use one piece of paper. Airtel IQ, is a full suite of cloud communication solutions that spans voice, messaging, video, streaming, call masking, virtual contact uh, solutions, and ultimately even workforce management. Etel Ads is our ad tech platform that leverages all our digital assets. We now have 135 plus brands and relationships with all large agencies. This solution is a consent based privacy safe platform that serves one of the biggest pools of quality customers across screens. We're further strengthening this platform by investing in blockchain capabilities and developing solutions that address privacy issues and potential regulations around them. Next is our data center platform. It's already serving hundreds of customers and all hyperscalers. It is in fact the largest data center business in India already. So inside of Airtel, there are already four unicorns that have been built, but this has only been possible because of our digital stack. So it is this stack of digital infrastructure, digital experience and digital services that has enabled this. 5G as we know will change the world in different ways over the next decade. 
a range of services will be created for both consumers as well as enterprises. And for this, it will need investments, it will need innovation, and it will need partnerships. This is where Airtel is at its best and more than ready. But remember, for every service and innovation that's created on 5G, the underlying stack of digital infrastructure and the digital experience must be ready. And this is where we believe we are more than ready. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Vittal, for putting some very valid points on the table and sharing some very useful information. Now we'll move on to the next session. Stay tuned and keep tweeting using the hashtag 5G Congress.